War and the Civil War is due on Monday. Yeah, we should start on it weeks ago. But it was never as I always said. Hey, look at how old this book is. I can't believe it's still in the library. Nice. I bet it can help us with our report. What? Nice going, Ace. Now you wrecked it. Miss Beckley isn't going to be happy with you. No, I didn't. A paper just flew out of it. See? Let me see this. To find the treasure of Beckley, you must follow the tracks to go where the bobcat has been. The first track starts in the doorway of the greatest responsibility. I think it's a joke. The treasure of Beth Key? No, I think it's real. But where do we find some bobcat tracks? What is this? Treasure of Beth Key? You guys are so weird. I don't know why he always has to bug us. Do you guys think this is real? I think it's just somebody's joke. What is the doorway of greatest responsibility? I have no idea, but I think we should try. Okay, let's think. What's the greatest responsibility here at Bethke? To learn. To learn a ton. Teachers are always trying to teach us to be responsible for our learning. Okay, but who has the greatest responsibility here at Bethke? We, the students? Well, maybe, or is it the teachers? It's the principal, Miss Alfonso. She has the greatest responsibility. She's responsible for all of us. Yeah, that's it. And the doorway to her office must be the doorway of the greatest responsibility. Great. Now all we have to do is be sent to the principal's office to see if this whole thing is real. I'm not going to do it. My mom would kill me. No, I don't think we have to do anything bad. Maybe something nice, like make her a card and then one of us can deliver it to her. Woo, I thought one of us would have to do something bad. I like your idea better. Okay, Bobby, here's the card from Miss Alfonso. Now, go put it on her desk in her office and find the bobcat track on her doorway. If it is real. Okay, here we go. Can I help you? I have a card here from Miss Alfonso. All right, just give it to me and I'll put it in her office. Uh, no, it's kind of a surprise. Can I just put it on her desk? She's not in her office and I can't let a student into her office alone. Just give it to me. Well, can I just stand in the door and toss it out? Well, whatever, make it quick. Bobcat track. Let me see that. What the heck does it mean? What this means is the treasure of Bethke is real. We're going to be rich. You're right, Dennis. What this means is the treasure of Bethke is real, and I say we find it. What does this clue mean? R423 MER679 15 is shown at the end of a great meal. I know somebody who knows. So who's in? Who wants to find this treasure and split it four ways? I'm in. I'm in. Okay, I'm in. Yeah. It's real. Those weirdos proved it. What's real? What are you talking about? The treasure of Bethke. I saw Bobby get a clue in the office a few minutes ago. The treasure of Bethke is real, huh? Those four don't have the brain power to figure it out. Yeah, but I bet they'll go to the guru. You're right. Let's go check. Okay, the guru is in. Do you have the gift? Yep, yeah, it's right here. Let's go. Excuse me, Captain. Yes, what is it? We need your help. Okay, but what did you bring me? This yummy candy bar. Excellent. Now what is your question? What does this mean? That's easy. The first part of the clue is the location of a book in the library, the Dewey Decimal System. The last number is a page number and word on the page to fill your clue. Cool, a book. Yep, a book. That was an easy clue. Now leave me alone to eat my cookie. Thanks, Thanks for Thanks for you. You. Hey guys, I found it. Now flip to page 679. Okay, what's word 15? Got it. It's respect. Let me see. Respect is shown at the end of a great meal. What the heck does it mean? A meal. It has to be when we eat lunch. 
What do we do at the end of lunch? We go back to class. No, before that. We stack our trays and clean up our tables. So how do we show respect? It must have something to do with stacking our trays. Let's go to the cafeteria and check. Cafeteria. Okay, here are the trays. I think we show respect by stacking our trays and putting our way at forks and spoons. Let's find it. Found it. What is that? None of your business. That's ours, Hunter. Get back. No, the treasure of Beth, he's going to be ours. Hey, that's not fair. We found it. Too bad. Now what are we going to do? That's okay. I saw what was on the clue. You, you did? did? Okay, let's see this thing. Hmm. The backs of these students show when no one is looking. What does that mean? I have no idea. I'm so confused. We need to talk to the guru. Anybody got any cookies? Hey guru, we brought you something. What do you guys want? We have a riddle, we need your help. Did you guys steal this from Bobby and her friends? No, we got it fair and square. It means the next clue is buried in the wood chips under the swing set. Great, let's go. The guru told us to dig under the swing set. Okay, Catherine said that we just need to check the back of the student's photos that have integrity. She said that integrity is what people do when no one is looking. Okay, let's start checking. Hey, there's words under these. Hey, Rachel, grab a pencil and write these down. I think they're all mixed up. I think I've unscrambled the words. To truly show kindness, you must get down on the level of even the smallest. What does that mean? It must have to do with the kindergartners. They're the smallest. I think we need to go to the kindergarten room to find out. Okay, so I, it said that we have to be at their level, so everybody, I think it's time to get down on our knees. It has to be here somewhere. Nice trick with the guru. The treasure of Bethy is going to be mine. Get him! <laughs> Get the girl! The girl! Yes! Get the girl! Thanks, Kindies. Does this mean we're going to be rich? No, I don't think it's that kind of treasure. The true treasure of Beth Key is in showing responsibility, respect, integrity, and kindness. That's the kind of treasure the other guys will never know.